next one in December here. Mm -hmm. December the 12th. Yeah. Blessing to be part of the team. Uh, those of you that don't know me, Jeff Cheatham with Bank of England Mortgage. And um, we're here to talk about list reports today, real quick, uh, just to tell you a little bit about myself and why I'm here. Of course, I do mortgages. Um, so I've been doing it for 17 years. So I've seen a thing or two, been around the block a few times. Um, seen just about everything you can think of. A um, few things I don't do equity lines typically. Um, uh, reverse mortgages, we have someone in the house that does reverse mortgages. Um, lot loans, that's typically like a local bank kind of thing. And then custom construction loans. But I pretty much do everything else under the sun. Um, Bridge loans? I believe we do have a broker, and that's something that we would broker out. Okay. And everywhere I've been, it's a brokered product. It's not okay. the greatest. It's like a, it's a necessary evil. <laughs> Well, we try to avoid it when we can. Um, but my next class will probably be on something like uh, maybe some square peg products that um, we can talk about, like uh, bank statement loan program for people who are self-employed that can't get approved because <coughs> they don't show enough income, net income on their tax return. Yeah. So there's a whole market of people out there that think they can't get a mortgage because they don't know a product like that exists. So, um, so yeah, I'll uh, we'll, we'll do. I'll lunch one every month, and I'm open to suggestions on any topics. I'll probably mix in um, one next month, another one for new agents, and kind of like a mortgage 101 type of thing. I like to do maybe one of those once a quarter, just to keep it fresh. So. All right, um, let's see, what else? Oh, uh, so you know obviously about the lunch mobile, you know about the refrigerator downstairs, it's stocked full at all times. I go to Sam's once a week and uh -huh. stock it up. So. Um, help yourself at any time. Uh, you don't need to ask permission. It's just there for y'all. Um, believe in giving first. You're too kind. Thank you. Well, we kind because the Lord is kind. So. Without him, I would not be kind. <laughs> um, and uh, of course, I work when you all work. So if you need me on a weeknight or a weekend, don't hesitate to pick up the phone, give me a call, shoot me a text message. Calling is better, especially you know during those times because I'm not necessarily glued to my phone watching for text messages or emails. So if it's, if it's during those um, after hours, let's call it, by all means give me a call. I usually have this thing draped around my neck, so 
even if I have it on vibrate, it'll still get my attention. Um, and what else? Oh, uh, copies. So color copies. Now I will clarify something. I, I know I sent out an email, an introductory email, um, a couple weeks ago, telling you about some of the things that we do that I'll do for you. Um, so I will make copies for anyone who wants to print marketing that would have my mugshot on it along with <coughs> your beautiful picture. So, um, so yeah, that's anytime you need anything, just shoot me an email, let me know when you need it, and I'll be happy to print it for you, no cost. Um, just ask that you provide the paper, so if you just get me like a little, you know, three or 500 sheet of Prima paper, whatever you call it, um, then that'll last you for eons. It's just one of those 50-50 deals that we have to keep the government happy. You know, I can't give everything, so that's just your little small uh, part of it. Um, but I'm guessing it's probably a lot cheaper than making copies up here. Yeah. So please utilize that service. I'm happy to do it. Um, anything else? I don't think so. So, um, Dusty is my one of my regional managers, and he was supposed to be here to facilitate this with you today because he knows list reports like the back of his hand. This is all new to me. I just got introduced to list reports when I came on board like a month ago. So I'm winging it totally today. So I'm really going to put the focus more on list reports uh, as far as their media that they have here. We're going to watch some videos. There's a PowerPoint, things like that. But I figure, you know, if maybe we just hit a, um, this this is a 20 minute video, and then there's another video I want to show you that's more of like a live web, almost like a recorded live webinar, where the guy kind of goes through and shows you some really useful stuff. Um, so we'll we'll hit, uh, I mean, we'll be, we'll be done before one for sure, but um, is that okay with you guys? If I just yeah. show you some videos, and you're know, the pros, so I'm not, so let's figure. <coughs> hard to do this stuff on your own, but this is a good reason to get together and have some, you know, grub and bevies and enjoy. And I'm the training manager here at List Reports. I am so excited that y'all are here to learn the ins and the outs of the List Reports platform, as well as the things that you need to know in order to start. Before we get started, please know, Me too. even if you shied away from technology in the past, List Reports is going for you. We are designed to save you time, money, and energy, and we are the solution to every marketing problem you have ever had. Before we get started, I want to tell you just a little bit about myself. I actually come from the real estate industry. I was a client of this report before as a general team. I was in charge of training my agent partners on the platform, and I saw enormous amounts of success through my agent partners. They were able to capture leads and generate materials like never before, and I am so excited to share with you my best practices for the list <coughs> So let's get started. Which of you on your screen right now is the list reports dashboard. This here houses all the different reports created under your name and also the place to request reports. I'd like to start with this distinction. List reports is a marketing platform and all list report is a marketing package. Now you as the agent can order a list report for any kind of listing scenario you can think of whether that be an active listing, whether that be marketing to a FISBO, a new builder of construction, or even a pre-listing. So if you have a listing appointment coming up with a potential seller and you want to show them all the different things you're going to do to market their home, you can order a report for that. Another thing to keep in mind is that you can order a report for a listing whether or not it's in your own name. So if you're a buyer's agent and you're going to be sitting in open house over the weekend for someone in your office or someone on your team, you can order a report so at the open house you have branded materials for you. Of course you want to use the agent's permission, obviously, but you can't do it. The first thing that I want to do is I want to go into one of these reports. I want to show you a couple key pieces of marketing material, some strategy behind it, and best practices. So we're just going to choose this first one right here. This is the property detail page. The property detail page here houses all the different marketing material for each list report ordered. One thing to keep in mind is there's over 35 pieces of marketing material created for each list report. Don't worry, we're not gonna go through all that today. We're only gonna go through a couple key pieces. I wanna show you what the page looks like though. First and foremost, we have the most popular pieces of marketing material. These are the ones that are shared the most. 
Then if we scroll down, we have the active listing pieces of marketing material. This is everything you need for the entire listing journey for your home. Then we have the listing presentation as I spoke about before. Then we have the buyer's reports. I cannot stress enough that list reports is not just for listing agents. It's also for buyer's agents. So if you're gonna be doing showings over the weekend, you can order reports for each of those homes you're gonna visit with your buyers. Then you can email them over the neighborhood report instead of like the MLS one sheet, which is just so gorgeous. Well, lastly, we have the sign writers and postcards. You can order these straight through us. You're a great partner, really fast, awesome, and beautiful. We're gonna start at the very top of the property website, not only just because it's the first thing on the page, but also because it's the landing page for the nucleus of each list report. Everything revolves around it. It's beautifully designed, has everything a buyer would want to know about the home. I don't want to spend too much time here, but the most important thing on this page, in my own personal opinion, is this explore the area. Explore the area is going to bring up our infographics. Our infographics are some of our most beloved features of list reports, and they're the four main things that a buyer is looking at before they move into a neighborhood. So first and foremost, we've got the food in the neighborhood. For some people, it's very important. So we show all the different food in the area. Then we have the walkability of the neighborhood. Is this somewhere that a buyer has to drive everywhere? Can they walk? What's around the home? Next, we have the great outdoors, dog parks, lakes, hiking trails, um, things that outdoorsy people like. I've heard of them. And then we have the schools in the area. So this is the most popular. This shows the schools that are assigned, their rating, and then the distance from the home. This one is entirely editable, so if this comes back and the schools are maybe twos and not tens, you can drop those ratings. If you know there's a better charter school in the area, you can put that in as well. These infographics are awesome to post on Facebook, share on Instagram, print and frame around the open house, totally up to you. These infographics make you look like a neighborhood expert, even if you've never set foot in that area. Really awesome. Infographics, check. Moving right along. I know it's a lot of information, guys. You're doing great. The next thing I want to go over is the open house letter. Now, this is the most shared piece of list reports, hands down, and you'll see why. So the front of this open house flyer has everything that a buyer would want to know. Back has those infographics that we just touched on. Full color, double sided, and just lovely. You'll notice that this one has come back in the Better Homes and Gardens Portages color scheme. So if y'all are with a specific brokerage like VW, Remax, we have every different kind of color palette you can think of, and all of your materials will come back brand new in those colors. The thing that I want to really point out here is first and foremost in this green box, Sun Up in 11. This is when the open house is going to be held. So if you're going to be door knocking the neighborhood prior to the open house, which of course you do, or you're going to be sharing this on Facebook, inviting your friends and family, you can tell them when to arrive. The next thing that I'm going to show you is the coolest and most revolutionary thing about these reports in my own humble, very honest opinion. So listen up. In this green arrow, you'll see they get listing and finance info text FAVE home to this FAVE 100 number. Now, I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, does the text to lead code? Yes, text to lead codes have been around for a while. But let's have this really kind of turn it on its head, and this is how it works. When you as an agent come onto list reports and you pair with your favorite loan officer, you're going to get to choose your own custom text to lead code. It's going to be yours and yours alone. So, Faith Home is my fake hypothetical real estate agent, Hillary Black's custom text to lead code. Now, Fave Home is going to be integrated on every single piece of marketing material on every single list report ordered, and it doesn't ever change. So, for example, it's going to be on our just sold postcards. It's going to be on our sign writers. Now, our sign writers look like this. We have a patent pending on this technology because they're reusable. Once you order your writers, you never have to order them again. And here's how it works. Let's just say we have Hillary Black, my big hypothetical real estate agent. She has five <coughs> listings and she has five sign writers. Each one of them look exactly the same, the same code. Let's just say she has a listing at 1309 Meridian Lane in Austin, Texas. Okay? <coughs> she has a potential buyer drive past that home. She's got a writer up on that for sale sign, and the buyer is interested in that home. They want to know the price, but like so many buyers out there, they have commitment issues. They don't want to pick up the phone and call. So they pull out their phone and they text fave home to this 800 number. 
what happens there is list reports is going to geolocate that buyer through their cell phone. And we're going to return back to them the corresponding property website according to their location. And then that buyer's contact information is going to drop into your relationships database and list reports. So you have effectively captured that buyer's cell phone number for false purposes, whether it be phone call or text. It's up to you. Yes. I know, you're right, that's awesome. So, I did say it's gonna be integrated on everything. So let's take the just sold postcards, for example. Now let's say you do a just sold postcard drop and there you're farming or you've been prospecting for a while and it has your code on there. So if a buyer texts that code and they're not buy one of your listings, the list report is gonna return back to that buyer a list of every active report under your name and you're still gonna capture their phone number. <laughs> I'm going to show you one little strategy around the custom text lead code, and this is why. Now, the custom text lead code goes so far beyond list reports, right? Once you've chosen your code, you can put it anywhere. Paper the name code with it, put it on mass mailers, put it in your Instagram bio, put it on, you know, you read space the high school soccer field and you've got a band with your face on it. Put your text lead code there, too. Last thing I'm going to show you on the property detail page is the Go Green method. Now, this is an open house strategy, and I think it is exceptional. So what you're going to do at your open house, say you've got to come up this Saturday, and instead of using that lovely open house flyer that I showed you, you're going to use that door knocking and the post on Facebook. But at the actual open house, you're going to print this off, and you're going to frame it at the front door. You're going to let every person know who walks to the front door that you're going green, you're saving some trees, you know, it's a private home. To enter the home, please sign in electronically by texting FAVE HOME to this 800 number. What happens there is at the end of the open house, you have captured the phone number of every potential buyer who walks through the front door. Instead of that open house signing sheet full of fake phone numbers and emails, I know it, you know it, it's just a fact. This is gonna help you out. Now, you're using the custom text lead code. You're using it on your sign writers. You're using it at your open houses. Now, you're gonna have all of these leads pouring into your relationships database. I wanna sh show you what you can do with them. Now, let's just take Scott, for example. Scott came to your open house on Saturday. You got to talk to him a little bit, and he's like, you know, he liked the house, but he's looking for a three-bedroom, not a two-room. He's got a kid on the way. Uh-oh. Searching. How much is getting paid by the hour? No more breaks. I passed out one of Luz's um, <coughs> flyers that she uh, put together through list reports last week. So you see how powerful that is, you know, double sided and all that information that's on the back about the community and the school and all that. So, pretty good. Can you customize things like if you wanted to raise the open house, like? about the house yeah it, it, it is it does seem to be fully customizable i was watching another video on that earlier mm -hmm. um, which oh you can change all these letters you can change uh, the pictures that you want to put there um, it will auto if you have it already in the mls it will auto populate all your pictures so you choose the three pictures that you want mm -hmm. to show the most So I, I had this before and then I kind of had to redo it right. and ever since I got the new one set up, it's not automatically pulling my listings. It did that before and automatically pulled all that like Liz was saying. It's, to, yeah. it's not doing it anymore. I'm having to actually manually input everything. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Um, so there is a, uh, they, they do have really good customer service. Uh, support at listreports.com. You can go there. Um, I'm not sure if they 
I mean, the only number. I guess maybe start with, with that, mm -hmm. and then if you need to get on the phone with somebody, I think they will. Questions about anything about list reports at the moment or anything else? Yeah. Any mortgage questions? Oh, we can come back. This is something that uh, they're supposed to auto populate with the MLS. Yeah, so when you sign up, yeah, I'll show a video. Um, it's like a little minute video that shows you how to get in there and, and sign up. And then um, it asks for your MLS ID. And then that's how it, every time you, you put a new listing on MLS, it's supposed to auto-populate right into the list report. Will that also produce a worksheet that has different financing scenarios on it? Like if you were to put 5% down, FHA, conventional? No, I haven't seen anything about that. It does, all, it does so. everything else for you, obviously. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it goes down. Well, it just okay, basically has the, okay. the lending partner on there. Yep. Um, which, yeah. April will some more at the agent. I'm doing that yeah. 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 Actually, yeah. because it takes yeah. more information yeah. for the, the agent to get that yeah. meeting yeah. with the order. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, so here's our issue. We um, found couples that's worked with Tracy before, and even though we changed the lender to you on mine, when we go back and look at our, say, our, any of the flyers, it doesn't matter. Tracy's picture and you know the BOE information is still Tracy and not you. Uh, I'll try to change it to you and your name will come up. In the beginning, it happened to me, and I needed to restart the the, the reports and do it manually. Manually then, meaning what? Because Load all your stuff back in. Yes, it changed, it changed um, Tracy Hamill for somebody. In my case, it changed to another person that it was not you. It was another person from. Um, Bank of England, and then every single communication that I was receiving, it was from Tracy Hamill. Right. So when I went, you sent me an email like, <coughs> last week. I on Wednesday, I went back to the list report. I log in myself, and I changed the entire thing manually. And then everything that happened is with uh, Deb. Yeah, that's what I, I went in and I logged in last Tracy night left, and, change it to and changed it to Jeff last night and, and yeah. I logged in today and it's still Tracy. It to you. Okay, so I don't know. Got it. But from now, from since I did that on Wednesday, the communication that I get from Liz Report, it's mm -hmm. from Jeff, it's not from Tracy. Okay. <coughs> I'm glad you're in here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'll try again. I'm going to log in again, and if he's still there, then I guess I'll just have to load everything from scratch. No. I just, I just changed mine this morning. No. I changed mine last night. It still, won't, it still shows Tracy. Really? I had that same problem. I had to do it loose. I had to, like, restart it. And I'm restarting it. I'm going to log in from scratch, <clears throat> which I did already once today. Because <clears throat> they're on the flyers and stuff, and I wanted to take Tracy's info off my flyers. Jeff? Yeah. Are you the Jeff Cheatham from Fishers, Indiana? I'm not. Okay, that's not you. <laughs> you think but it has your it? phone number. He's got his picture. Yeah, but it does say Indiana. He's in the witness protection. <laughs> 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 it says you're from Maybe Fishers, you are Indiana. loaded incorrectly <laughs> through the <laughs> system. <laughs> so Bank of England, it says it says Fishers, Indiana. Really? Yep. Bank of England might you know what's and weird it, is that my Fishers. last name I was born with was Fisher. So but it's that from is Fisher's Indiana. That is strange. It is weird. Is maybe that? maybe somebody loaded him wrong in the system. All right, I will get with uh, technical. But that is you. It looks just like you. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's not. You it's not a picture. And you're but you it's your doppelganger. You. <laughs> I think this is. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Hmm? Looks like him with a brush. Yep, yeah, that's definitely you. Okay. Do you happen to know where under profile and settings I can look to see if my MLS ID number is there? Because I can't find it anywhere. <coughs> I'm going to. It's in. It will be actually your license. It's not. Yeah, it's, and see, that's the thing. It's pulling my license number correctly. Yeah, it's it's not the MLS, and and it's not actually populate your your listings. You just only need to put the address, and it will show you. Well, at least I never. I don't have listings. So. Ding dong. Hi, and welcome to List Reports 101. Peace. My name is Hillary Block, and I'm the training manager here at List Reports. I am so excited that y'all are here to learn the ins and the outs of the List Reports platform, as well as the things you need to know in order to be successful. When you access your own personalized nest app, your clients are able to search through homes like any other major home search sites. Now, what separates it is in that home search site, there's not going to be any other agents or loan officers being marketed to your clients. Like I said, it's a little safe incubator for your leads. They can search around in their favorite things, share things, and there's not going to be anyone else marketed except you. Your client's contact information is going to be sold through there. There's no ads being served to your clients. And it's not an app. You just search through their phone, on their browser, or on their desktop, which is awesome. I kind of want to show you what it looks like because it's really, really quite fun and it's very buyer friendly. So 
So I like to think of this like a game. So you can either send them the link and they can search around, or if you're in a buyer consultation, you can take them through the process. So what you're seeing right here is your personalized match.me link. There's your lovely face and contact information. Let's just say your buyer, Scott, for example, good old Scott, he's looking to move to Long Beach, California. 90815. Oh, no. Great, let's get his home preferences. You know, he's looking in Long Beach, California, so a three bedroom house is going to cost about $700,000. Wow. Okay. Um, he's looking oh, yeah. to buy very soon. Schools are important to him. He's looking for a detached home, three bedrooms for the kids. You know, it goes on. Now, what's going to get returned back to Scott are his matches, Ooh. and they're separated by match score. So you'll see the green ones are everything Scott's looking for. The yellow one's slightly off, and the red one's way out there. And the reason that we give this entire spectrum of listings is because of this. If you put your buyer into a major home search site, right, three bedroom, two bath, you know, specific prices, specific zip code, they're only going to get returned back those exact matches. Now, any buyer's agent will tell you the second you show Scott a four bedroom, three bath that's you know in a slightly different zip code but down the street from his mom, he's going to buy that house. So this is going to save you a bunch of time. And your client's able to like, maybe they aren't looking in that neighborhood. Maybe they need a four bedroom. We'll show you all that. Now we actually open up one of these listings. That's everything Scott would want to know home. That that count, price, photos, tell them about it, co-branded with you and your loan officers, why this home is good for Scott, actually seems pretty perfect for Scott, the other matches he might be interested in, the infographics, payment calculator, it's just delightful. Now from here, Scott can favorite this, he can share it. All this information is gonna get pushed into your activity feed in list reports. So you're aware of what he's doing in the platform. That's all I'm really gonna share on that, Tommy. I think it's really, really great. I encourage you to play around in it. Now, we have covered a lot in a very short amount of time. I'm sure your head is swimming with excitement. I showed you a bunch of list reports features. One thing to keep in mind, and this is very important, Everything I showed you today is what you'll get when you're paired with your loan officer. Really, really important to do that. If you're not paired with your loan officer, you'll only have access to a tiny little bit of what I showed you today. In essence, the flyers. You won't have access to the custom text lead code, you won't have access to the text script campaigns, or nest.me. Now, if you're not already paired with your loan officer, there is this option right here that says My Lender. From here, you can select your favorite lender. If your lender's not on here, you can send your lender an invitation to pair with you and we'll try and bring them on the platform. Or you can email support at listreports.com and let us know who you would like to pair with. Now, when you're paired with your favorite loan officer, we have this fantastic feature called Autopilot. The way Autopilot works is as soon as you have a listing hit the MLS, we're gonna go out, pull all that information, and we're gonna generate a report for you. You don't have to do a thing. We're just gonna email you when it's ready. Yeah, that's pretty great. Now, if you're a buyer's agent or you are going to be sitting in an open house, you have to manually request it. I'm going to show you how. Now, pay attention. It's pretty complicated, okay? Okay. So, we're going to find the address, okay? We're going to take this one in Austin, Texas. I've talked about it before. It's my favorite place. Um, we're going to click New List Report here at the top, okay? We're going to paste that address. Let it populate through Google. There it is. Then from here, all we have to do is scroll down and hit submit. Now, there's a couple things before we hit submit I want to talk about real, real quick. And then the listing scenario, this drop down is important. Now, I talked about at the very beginning, so long ago, right, um, that you could order it for any kind of listing scenario. This is where you would choose. If you want to do a pre listing, if you have that listing appointment kind of thing, you have to put in the property details and three photos. Because it's not on the MLS, so we need all this information. But you can do it, I believe. We'll leave it an active listing for now. The only other thing I want to talk about, number four right here, this is to customize your flyers. Um, I showed you that that had a specific open house date and time, Sunday 11, 11, like forever ago. You can choose when you want that open house info on. So you just put it in right there. Now, the last thing I want to show you are the color scheme options. Like I said, Remax, AW, anything like that. We've got all the different things you can think of. All this kind of different colors, better home gardens, full of anchor. Just choose. We'll leave it for list reports for you right now. From here, we're going to hit submit. This is going to go off into list reports land. We have a one hour turn time. One hour. Everything that I showed you and the things I didn't even show you is going to come back in less than one hour. I know. It's awesome. We'll email you when it's ready. It's also going to be sitting on your dashboard. So if you order this report and something comes back, it's not exactly the way you could like it, you can make instant edits. 
So we'll go back in the property detail page, our old friend, we we'll click this red button, edit report, and these are where you make instant, less than five minute edits. So if you wanna drop the school ratings, change out the photos, change the color scheme, you do that all through here. Awesome? Okay, list report setting. Now, if you're already a user of list reports, you know that we like to send a lot of emails, and it's because we have so many exciting things to tell you. Now, if ever it gets to be too much, this is where you manage your notification preferences. I highly suggest not unsubscribing because if you're using custom text to lead code, we're gonna text you when those leads come through and you wanna pick up the phone call right then and there. Also, when new features come out, we're making list reports better as we do all the time. We want you to know about it. Just try not to do it, please. Okay, now the last thing, list report setting. This is where you're gonna choose your custom text to lead code. See Faith Home? I know it feels like forever ago that we were talking about it. This is where you're gonna choose it. It's 10 characters or less, no special characters, and it's kind of like choosing a Gmail address. You've got to get creative with it, okay? I believe in you. It's going to be awesome. Now, the last thing I want to share with you is the resources tab. This is where our video tutorials and our knowledge base lists. If ever you want a little bit more education on one particular piece of list reports, whether it be the text lead codes or nest.me, you can access it from here. We also have an amazing team of customer support and customer success representatives. They can be reached at support at listreports.com. They are fantastic about answering any questions you may have. That's also a place where you can reach me in case you need a little bit of extra training. Well, that is everything that I have for you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to join me for List Reports 101. You guys are so set up for success, and I cannot wait to see what you guys will do with List Reports. Again, my name is Hillary Black. Reach out to me if you have any questions whatsoever, and I look forward to assisting you real soon. questions that I probably can't answer. <laughs> Where do you enter the MLS login information so that it tracks? There's, um, there's no MLS yeah, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a video here, a little, really short one. I just went through the settings and profile, and I didn't see it. Com. And when you get to, hey guys, this is John over at List Reports. Uh, I am just going to give you the tip for the day on how to get your realtors signed up for List Reports. It's relatively really easy. All you have to do is go to listreports.com. And when you get to this feature, it'll be the first page that comes up. All you have to do is go into sign up now, click that button. And then what you're going to go ahead and do is sign up as an agent. And from there, it'll just ask for your agent's information. So just go ahead and have them put that information in there. And then hit submit, and their account will be created. I hope this helps, guys. And once again, this is John at List Reports for your tip of the day. I do appreciate it. If you need any more information, feel free to email me, J-O-N at listreports.com. Thanks, guys. And I think um, what you do is um, when I signed up, I had to go in and create a profile for myself. Or actually, it started the profile. I had to go right. and finish it out. So I think it's in there, in the profile. It's not in there? You it asked for your <coughs> license number. Yeah, yeah. that's your you license have, number. You have to go mm -hmm. up to the top where the little drop down is for your profile and settings. Yep. And you hit profile and you put all the information in, upload a photo. I uh, did that. But I didn't see anywhere to enter your MLS information. Right. That's why I think MLS it's not information is it's down. Not um, automatically populating it, but if you type it, in the address, it won't automatic it will automatically populate it because. Uh, I had to find mine and put it in there. Uh, right. Doesn't pull from the MLS. But the mm -hmm. uh, profile page like a, down to it. about a, about halfway down <coughs> had a place for your license number. And I don't. Know I, I did all that. Yeah. yeah. yeah they did, right. But because there's no place to put the MLS, the e-bar, it can't yeah. pull it. It doesn't know where. Yeah. Of us are. There's, 
This is in your profile. You don't put your MLS information. Right. But, but if you don't, how do you put it? We are not putting the MLS information in. The machine is not intuitive. It doesn't know where any of us, what ML, because some of them are building the bed seats too. So it doesn't know where we are. So it can't pull our. Right they say that you, right. you know what I mean. They say. I can't pull it. So I'm like, well, how are they going to pull it? It can't. Yeah. They know who we are. They don't know where we are. So when you type in the listing address, it finds it automatically and then imports the information? Yeah. Where is it getting it from? It's space. It's from the MLS because all of my public details, public remarks are there. I have a short name, it's only allowed for so much. But it's pulling all of them. But I have to be manually type it in, add new listing We're missing links somewhere. Because <laughs> <laughs> it would have to have our MLS number. Hi, everyone. My name is Katie, right. and I'm from the account management yeah. team here at List Reports. Your loan officer is sending you this video because they are committed to your increased success. List Reports is 100% free for you, and it is the complete lead gen and intuitive marketing solution used by over 50,000 agents. We equip you with everything you need to brand yourself, capture more mobile leads, and automate the follow-up process via text message. Here's how it works. We give you everything you need for your next open house, including custom flyers, infographics, property websites, reusable sign writers, postcard templates, and much more. When you have a new listing, we'll automatically send you all the assets you need to market your property as soon as your listing is live. Our full-service customer success team is here to help you. Need a photo swapped out? Want a custom text or color palette on your marketing assets? No problem. We've got your back. You'll also be equipped with the text to lead codes. These codes ensure you capture the right contact info, and we send back marketing assets directly to your prospect's smartphone. We even automate the follow-up process for you. Our text alerts ensure that you stay top of mind with your lead. List reports is here for you at every stage of your business. So whether you're representing a new property, hosting an open house, helping your buyers find their perfect home, or looking for an impression at your next listing appointment, We've got you covered. List Reports is the proven open house marketing solution, and we're here to help you grow your business and save you time. We provide you with intuitive marketing that has automated lead generation and follow up through text messages built right in. The best part, List Reports is 100% free for agents. Thank you all for watching. We look forward to working with you, impressing your clients, as well as closing more deals. One more video, if you guys will allow it. Um, it will be I just out before one o'clock. Jeff, I just went to create a new list report, and I put in the address on Luke's uh, listing here, and it filled it all in. It says there's 50 photos in there. I can choose the photos I want. I can create a flyer on this myself. If it's an active listing, you just open the list. address, and it will go. Yeah, it will. Mm -hmm. okay. This the the listing report fits from the MLS on mm -hmm. sale. Not from your listings. It's from Stella, not from KWLS. It's right. from the MLS. Yeah, Stella the MLS. Stella. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. So if you, as long as it's an active listing, you put in an active well, address. Yes. 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 Yes.
does for the realtor is it takes away the thing that you guys really don't like doing or that you usually have to pass on to somebody else if you have a marketing department, and that is automate the marketing process. So through our platform, when you get your account set up and when you pair with your lender, our system will automatically pick up every single time you have a brand new listing that you put up on the MLS. It will know this, and when it does pick up on it, it will automatically generate a whole 25 plus piece marketing kit that will be delivered to you and your lender partner automatically on your list reports account and that way you guys can go in and pull whatever marketing material you need for whatever stage that your listing is in we're also going to notify you by a text and email so you will get notification every time that happens but the one thing is is that we're going to do that automatically so you no longer have to go to your marketing department you don't have to wait days to get your marketing you don't even have to wait hours guys our system picks up on it and delivers it to you automatically without you having to lift a finger. Now the other great thing that we do is we provide you with some of the best marketing that's out there. So this is just a few examples of the marketing that we create. So what you guys are seeing here is our open house flyer. So our open house flyer, as you can see in every other marketing piece that we create, is very detailed. It's very colorful and it stands out. The other factor is we make it very simple on the eyes from the perspective reader. That's one of the key components. It's not done up with a whole lot of hoopla. It's just very simple and it gives all the great details, including the information about you and your lending partner and all the listing information that we directly pull from the MLS. All of our flyers come out completely detailed and professional, as you can see from the open house flyer or the open house sign-in sheet that you have an option that just listed. And one of the other things that we do very well, besides creating great marketing, is we recognize that people not only want the information about the listing, but they also want the information about the area. So what our system does every time it creates marketing material for you is it generates and pulls the data in the specific area that you see here. So it puts it into what we call our infographic flyer or AKA neighborhood report. And it delivers on all the conveniences, the schools in the area, the outdoor activities, the neighborhood restaurants, so that we not only give all the information about the listing on the front of the flyer, but on the back of the flyer, we give all these great details about the neighborhood as well. Because people have to live in the house, but they also have to live in the neighborhood. So let's kill two birds with one stone and deliver them everything that they need. And everything you see on our flyers, guys, is customizable. You can edit, you can change, you can do whatever you want to with it. You can change a color palette, you can customize it any way you want to. And also you can change the school information and the outdoor activity information. So for example, if you do have low ratings, you can edit these out so you don't show unfavorable data to your prospective clients. Now the other great thing that we do for you guys is lead capture capability, and it's one of the other reasons why we are so much better than if you have a marketing department. Because your marketing department may be able to create marketing material for you, but that is great. How many leads do you get out of it? Do they have technology built into the marketing materials that helps you get more leads? Does it capture more leads? If you put your marketing materials out in an open house or you put them on a for sale sign and people come by and grab them, at the end of the day when you come back to get them, do you actually know who took them? And what's the ROI on that, right? Probably not that much. And with you guys that are really concerned about your ROI, this is a great opportunity for us to come in because we have lead capture capability built into the marketing materials and we also save you guys on having to rely on phone calls and emails to capture those leads. Because on our marketing material, as you see here, when you get paired with your lender, we will allow you to create your own customized text to lead code that you see here. It will be assigned to you specifically in every single one of your listings that you create marketing material for through our platform. We will put it on every single piece of marketing material. We will put it on every single postcard, every single sign writer, and then you have the ability to put it up anywhere you want to. I have realtors that put it up on their social media sites, that put it up on their personal websites, that put it on their business cards. Because it's going to be connected to them in every single one of their listings. And the whole reality of it, guys, is with the text and lead codes, we're making it more effective for you to get your information out a lot easier to the public. So you're actually throwing out a wider net to more people. And now you're actually being able to capture those people because why? Because you're making it easier for them to access the information. Nobody up today wants to make phone calls and nobody wants to have emails back and forth. That's not the time frame we live in. Technology has made us inherently lazier, and so that's how we have to cater to the customers. That is why the text to lead codes work perfectly. Because anytime they text your custom code to that number, our system 
will automatically deliver them on their mobile device, all of your listings that you created marketing through our platform to their mobile device. They then can click on the listing they want to look at, and from there, our system will automatically deliver them what we call our single property website that looks like this. Now the single property website works very well. We get 20,000 shares on Facebook a month, over 300,000 consumer views a month, and it is all mobile, desktop, and tablet friendly. So we actually capture more people by making it user friendly and making it easier for them to access the information. And when they do decide on a listing, our system will send them what you guys will see here. So this is the single property website that they will be delivered every single time that they select one of your listings. They can easily click on any box they want to to learn more about the home, the photo gallery, the infographics that we had talked about earlier, and also they can meet your lender, and more importantly, they can meet you as the agent. They do have the ability to put all their information in here, guys, but the trick of our system is they don't have to. We don't rely on it. The reason why we don't rely on it is because we know people aren't going to do it. So we have a system in play that as soon as they click on a listing, after they text that code, our system will automatically pick up on it and it will send it directly to both you and your lending partner through your platform in your relationship tab under My Leads. We will deliver it to you every single time as a prospective buyer, so you can go ahead and receive their cell phone number, the property they're looking at, and who or actually what listing they were looking at that you see here. And then from there, guys, it's really just a simple call out just to see what the follow-up is, any questions that they may have, and how you can be of assistance and how active they are looking. Once that happens, you can edit the information and put their first and last name in so that you can go ahead and save this lead. Now all the marketing material is going to show up on your dashboard that you will see here. And let me get into a live one, so bear with me. <coughs> So this is what you guys will see on your dashboard once the marketing material is done, is what you guys will see. And all the marketing material, guys, you guys will have access to. And from here, it's really just a very user-friendly platform. So I know a lot of you out there are really hesitant on technology, but you don't have to worry about it. We have the most user-friendly system in the country. Not to mention, guys, the platform is completely free to you as your lending partner. So when you go into the marketing material, you can scroll through any marketing material that our system has created for you. And it's very easy from here. All you will have to do is just click on the view tab to view the marketing material that you want to look at. And you will have access to over 25 plus pieces of marketing material that our system creates at once. Another reason why our system is better than most marketing departments because we do not create just one flyer. You will have access to everything, plus lead capture technology built into the marketing materials to allow you to capture more leads. And all of our marketing materials are very easy to look at. If you want to view the material, all you do is just click it. It's pretty self-explanatory. You want to download it, you just click the little cloud icon here. If I want to download the property report, I just click it. And then I can go ahead and open that up, as you see here. And now I can go ahead and print this out or attach it to an email all done very simply. We also give you a couple different options as well. So if you want to share it, we give you the ability to copy the link so you can post it anywhere, attach it to an email. You can directly post it to Facebook from here. You can post it uh, to Twitter and you can also email it to yourself. All done with a click of a button. There is an order button over here, but it's not mandatory. So you are not required or mandated to order through us. If you have somebody you go through, feel free to utilize them and you can go ahead and do that as well. And that goes for the sign writers as well, guys. We give you the sign writer, we give you the text to lead capability or the text to lead code that you came up with that you see here. So if you have somebody that uh, you already are doing your sign writers with, feel free to use them or you can go ahead and use us. It really is an option for you. The other great thing is we let you edit the report so you can hit edit report and it'll take you to the edit report button where there is just simple editing that you guys can do in the four quadrants that are provided here. You can change the address, property description, 
You can add customized texts on your open house flyers. You can add uh, color themes, your agent, new information if you want to, if you updated your information. But the great thing is it's all very simple done. So if I want to change a color theme, say I work for Keller Williams or Century 21 or any other company, I can easily create my own custom color palette right here by just clicking the button. And from here, it'll open up all of the color themes that you see here. The other great thing on your dashboard, guys, is if you have a listing that you don't want to put up on the MLS, or if you have an older listing that's put up on the MLS, you are able to create marketing material for it, and it's done very simply. All you have to do is, if it's an active listing, just go to your dashboard, hit new list report, and put the property address in there. The system will auto-populate it, so you can just go ahead and click on the listing. And from there, it will automatically pull all the photos that you see here. And it'll pull the property details to where you just have to put the property type and the number of stories in. And from there, you can customize your marketing material any way that you want to. The marketing material should take you about 10 to 15 seconds to do, and it'll take about probably 15, 20 minutes for our system to create, if not faster. So again, we are a lot better than a marketing department because our marketing material doesn't take hours. It takes minutes to do. So all done relatively, really simple. Now, the other great thing that you guys will have access to is on your platform, you guys will have the ability to lender. And that is the tab that you will see here under my lender. So if you are wanting to switch from who you're using to your new lender or you want to switch, just hit the My Lender button and you can go ahead and hit the Change Lender and go ahead and do it from there. All done very simple. Also, if you want to change anything in your profile, just go to your Profile tab and you can change your personal items as you see here. You can change your password by selecting Password, your company information, and if you want to adjust your settings, you can do that too, so you can send notifications to anybody you want to. Uh, you can notify me, you can turn on or off the autopilot, uh, all the reports, anything that you guys want to do, it's very simple to do and done through our platform. And as you guys can see, we have training on everything, so if you want to go to the resources tab, we have frequently asked questions. Uh, we have a pre-recorded webinar that you guys can watch as realtors that will walk you through the nuts and bolts. Video tutorials on every single tab that you see over here, so it gives you pertinent information. But for the most part, guys, the system is very user friendly and it accomplishes a lot of the stuff that you guys really don't like doing throughout the day or asking anybody else to do. So I hope you guys found this very beneficial. This was just a quick overview of what list reports can do for you guys. If you guys have any further questions, feel free to reach out to me. My name is John at listreports.com. That is my email address. I look forward to having you on the platform, guys, and trust me, this is really going to add a lot of benefit and value to what you do on an everyday basis and make your life a little bit simpler. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day. Questions? On the, uh, the Nest Me feature, mm -hmm. the Nest Me website, um, basically the way that works, you have a they give you a personalized link, I assume, because it has a personalized link with my name on it on mine. Yeah. Uh, when um, you go to the Nest Me, it says your shareable link. So if you share that with a customer, and then they use that link to log into Nest Me and create their own site, then when they look at any properties on that, it notifies me that what they're looking at. Is that how that? Basically it sounds good. It, it just seems to be how it works. <laughs> that does seem to be what it's doing. All I can say is, I'm sure they have a video on Nest Me. Just okay. Yeah, it's going in the resources. Yeah, it then. seems like a really kind of nice feature where, yeah, you know, once you have customers interested, you can just text them the link and let them. Yeah, I posted it on social media the other day, and I actually went and tested it myself. So they go and click on there and sign up and have their own little dashboard, like it's saying. It either texts you, well actually it texts you and emails you and says you have a new buyer lead, basically. Yeah. So it's a good landing page type thing. I haven't cool. gotten anything out of it yet other than my own thing, but it works and it's pretty neat. I think it works really well. Good. Thank you. Thank you both. It's a good way to have a landing page and not have to pay a ton of money for trying to get leads. Right. So each code is specific to a particular property? Yeah, when they go log in, it, they'll have like, 
we'll ask for like the area they're looking and their criteria, and then it kind of like narrows them down on the map, and they can go select and look at the properties, and it notifies you every time. Well, what I'm what I'm wondering about the co each code that's on when you create a list report, is it going to generate a specific code just for that property, or is it the same code every time? Well, I think. I think it's the reusable. It might. Because if I want to do a list report for all, say, 20 something listings or whatever, am I going to have 20 something different codes that I have? No. Oh, you mean the, the you mean the text two code? Yeah. No, the text two code. You just have one, and depending on which property somebody's inquiring about, it uses their cell phone to geolocate them. But if they're not, if I'm using it as, then it will give them all of the properties that you have. Well, that's what I'm thinking. If they do it from home, right. you're not going to get the yeah. property that they're interested in. If you use the, to be at the property. Yeah, because yeah. that, that sign would be at the property with the code yeah. on it. Yeah, but if they like the code and then went home and did it. Well, if I send out a postcard with that information on it and they get it in their mailbox, then they're going to get a list of all the listings. Is that how that works? All right. And they have to it, it, choose it gives a rundown on there when you click on the learn more about your your text to code. Okay. It'll give you information. It says if they're by the property, it does this. If they're not, then it will do this. Okay. Um, but that's different than the nest. The nest me one is just a link with your individual name. You send it to them. It takes them to the nest me site, which is like a search property search site. But when they log in using your link, it connects their account to you. So anything they look at, it notifies you that they're looking at it. And anytime a property comes up within their criteria that they're searching for through your Nest Me, it'll automatically send them an email saying, hey, there's a new listing and that meets your criteria, and it'll send them the information. So how is that more beneficial than us directing people to our own websites? It's just an additional feature. Right? Does, your, does your own personal website capture them every time they're on there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm just trying to get an idea on the different features. It's just, this is just another tool in the toolkit, you know, with all kinds of tools out there. And this is just There's one of them. There's so many. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I was gonna say, well, in another way, it also kind of crosses over with the KW app. With the, uh, where you can text people the link to the KW app. Mm -hmm. which personalizes to you as well and does some of the same things. It's not quite, <laughs> it's not quite like it, but. Now you, uh, Jeff, you said that there was somebody within your organization that really knew this hands down backwards and forwards. Yeah, and I was counting on Dusty to be here today, <laughs> but he's sick, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I would just suggest, um, you know, if you have, when you have time in your, in your, at your leisure, just click on some of those videos in there, you know, like the Destiny video and, you know, all those others, and I'm sure it'll might take a time or two to sink in. But, uh, but of course, you know, the frequently asked questions in there, I'm sure I'll answer some of your questions. And then of course, you know, they have their support desk, um, support at uh, listreports.com. Um, so utilize all that because they're you know they're there to help I'm, I'm really just the messenger as you can tell <laughs> um, but I just want to get you all together and you know because I'm, I'm sure it's you. in your busy day it's hard to set time aside to do all this so um, that's why I want to get you all together for this uh, any other questions cool um, if y'all want to leave a business card, um, I'll do. I'm gonna do a drawing for one of these guys. Not mine, but I'm. Mean, you know. Oh come on. <laughs> Mine's crap. Oh, no, we don't have that. <laughs> so yeah, just um, leave your card right there on the table, and then I'll do a drawing, and then I'll I'll let someone else do the drawing. So you know. So it seems. We don't want to get political. So it's short. There. Send the drawing. I'll go my name. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll <Christmas>. oh, <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Thank you.
So don't you don't take the first part of the card. You win every game. Oh yeah. I did email you just email a couple of flyers to print off. And I should have a ring of paper down there when I when Tracy in there. Do I? Okay. Yeah. And I'll share that with anybody. So if somebody says they don't have it, use mine. Thank you. What a nice guy.
was the issue. I think Alex really wanted to try to get like me and which <laughs> doesn't sound like a lot. Well, Peggy, Peggy has her seventy. No pool, no dock. But all that. But it's a lot of right. Because I've been there. I've been there. It's this is a bigger home, but again, and it has this bigger house. All day long, so you have to And again, that fourth, you know, kind of car drive for that. But yeah, there's no dock, there's no boat lift, you know, there's no um, pool, room for a pool, but no, he's on a double lot. Yeah, he's on a double lot. So his house is like in the middle of a double lot. So he's got 160 feet of concrete seawall. Yeah, which is what they're looking for. Um, because not all canals, unfortunately, because the canal is part of the canal, or whatever, and perhaps you know, they don't really have a lot of water. Um, but he's on the sea, 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 he's on the sea. So, anyway. So, we, yeah, I'd like to open a closet, and I'd really love to take and explore. And here's the bad thing, I have never known. Thomas? Tommy? Nothing happened. Yeah, he just has 
him here on Friday. Say so he's gonna call me, and then this cricket says so I figure I'll give him. I yeah, called him yesterday. I called him yesterday. Text. I'll let that marinate for a couple days, and then maybe call up on Wednesday. Here's the thing. If you want me to help him to find a place because he has to re-rent, then you better get going on it, dude. Yeah. I'm just saying. Because what are you going to do when, you're, when your rent's up or your lease is up? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Yeah. Whatever. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. We still have more questions. I enjoyed all. We expect you to know it all now. <laughs> all right. One thing I did have questions. Um, when, the, when the page prints out, mm -hmm. um, and I think you kind of showed that you can alter it however you want. Right. I can put those two up there the pictures here. Yeah, I believe it's yeah, all the same. Yeah, are you? Pictures. Right. That's, what yeah. That's what I thought. Good. That's what I thought. Hanging in there. Because when I was playing with mm. it before, mm -hmm. um, I'll get that. I think you're my car. Now you're looking for a tip. I know. Well, I got a good tip for you. Don't eat yellow snow. Oh. And watch out where the huskies go. That's right. But I'm from up north. Look both ways before you cross the street. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you're, all your business still staying together? You've got like four closings you said this month, right? I just got, yeah. I'm, I, I, but I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm, I'm, what? I'm keeping it. Because oh. I've, I've watched myself get all excited and all right. picked up. Right. And then the shit falls through. And yeah, I, have I get to it. Wear the egg on my face. I've been there. I'm supposed to have one tomorrow. Oh, that's and good. I'm supposed to have one on Monday. That's good. You getting any new listings to keep the pipeline full? Um, so, so I have another buyer. Okay. That um, is up north, and that's why I ran and excused myself because um, that's supposed to close November fourth. Okay. He's coming down from New New York. He's buying a condo. Actually, it sounds crazy, but across the street from where he lives he wants to sell the one he's in so he said when he comes down i'll probably list that condo so i got that listing it's not in the back i haven't i don't have anything right you know concrete but he's not going to want to carry two mortgages yeah exactly my my other two listings that i have one is about to expire in two weeks emailed him yesterday saying um you know your your thing's not going to your you need to do a price adjust Right. And his response was, I'll take any and all offers. I'll consider it. I said, you're not getting offers because you're overpriced. Like, now I'm just giving it to him hard. Right. Well, this same guy has another house that I have a listing on, and that's going to expire, like, two weeks after that one. So I was just going to read the, the letter to uh, to Bo. He's, he's going to um, 